instead of politicians doling out money behind a veil of secrecy, decisions about where we invest will be made public and informed by independent experts whenever. I'm grateful to Congress, governors, and mayors across the country, and to all of you whose support made this critical step possible. We have made real and unprecedented progress, and will continue to do so in the weeks and months ahead. Credit crisis that's made that downturn worse. This is how progress has always been made. It's possible for Judge Sotomayor to attend two of America's leading universities, graduating at the top of her class at Princeton University and studying at Yale Law School, where she won a prestigious post as an editor of the school's law journal. These many years have also made it very clear to Congress that we must develop a plan that doesn't add to our budget deficit. And I've made a firm commitment that health care reform will not add to the federal deficit over the next decade. Today we're called to remember not only the day our country was born, we're also called to remember the indomitable spirit of the first American citizens who made that day possible. This week we've made important progress towards the goal of bringing about change abroad and change at home. I've also made it clear that we will not tolerate the red tape that stands in the way of progress or the waste that can drive up the bill. We know that automatic enrollment has made a big difference in participation rates by making it simpler for workers to save. And that's why we're going to expand it to more people. And the good news is that we've made real progress since the last time we met, here at home and around the world. All of the permanent members of the United Nations Security Council and Germany have made it clear that Iran must fulfill its responsibilities. And we've certainly made progress on this front since the period last winter when we were losing an average of 700,000 jobs each month. At the same time, I want to emphasize that there's still plenty of progress to be made. We made progress with China and Russia in sending a unified message to Iran and North Korea that they must live up to their international obligations and either forsake nuclear weapons or face the consequences. The investments we've made and the tough steps we've taken have helped to break the back of the recession, and now our economy is finally growing again. victim again and again to the same